Selfishness can be very dangerous to our society, but sometimes being selfish is necessary and can even help people a lot. When kind people help others, they often forget to take care of themselves, and this could be very harmful to their health. No matter how much these people want to help, when they lose control, it's hard to fill their empty space, and this could cause traumatic experiences. Helping others is great, but everything in our lives must be balanced. One of the security measures demonstrated during airplane flights illustrates this very well. If the cabin loses pressure, we should put on our masks before helping children. At first sight, this may seem selfish, but it makes sense. Kids need help because they can't reach the mask storage compartments, but since they are younger, they are more resistant and can wait a little longer than adults can. This is the kind of selfishness that should be practiced. Sometimes all we need to do is take care of ourselves instead of helping others because depending on how we are feeling, we attract different kinds of energy. This is why self-love is so important. When we take care of ourselves, we attract good things and are able to give the best of us to the world. Here are five simple habits that will help you improve your self-love and learn to give off good energy to everyone around you. Meditate. Starting off your day with meditation is an excellent way to keep your balance throughout the rest of the day. It doesn't take that much time and it helps you clear your mind. Get a good night's sleep. Sleeping is like recharging your batteries and all of us need to be charged to function properly, so try to avoid losing sleep. Rest as much as you can. Remember that people's sleep cycles differ, so in order to improve the quality of your sleep, you must understand your own. Take advantage of the outdoors. Our busy everyday life makes it hard to enjoy what Mother Nature gave us, but we must try to spend some time outdoors. During your lunch break at work, or even on your commute, no matter how much time you spend, you'll see how much it will improve your mood. Prepare your mind. With work, school, exercise, shopping, etc., we may become confused and stunned at our constant changes in scenery. So it's important for you to give yourself some time between each activity to prepare your mind for what's next. It doesn't have to be a lot of time, just a few minutes to ready your brain for the next activity. Be grateful. Sometimes we feel discouraged because it seems like nothing is happening in our lives when we really just haven't taken the time to notice the progress we've already made. We spend so much time looking forward that we never stop to be thankful for everything we've achieved. So try to remember everything that has brought you to where you are right now, and that will give you courage to face the future. Taking care of yourself is an act of self-love and will never be as destructive as pure selfishness, so don't be scared. Love yourself.